By the evening of July 1st, flight MF802 brought the first batch of Australian tourists who did not need to apply for a visa to southern China's coastal city Xiamen. Many on the plane are expecting to stop by China for a bonus trip before heading to their original destinations in nearby countries. This lady, who will fly to Japan in a few days, is one of them. Um, I think coming into China, uh, good food, um, lots of people, um, lots of big buildings maybe, um, and, and just the culture overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy people and all of that. So that's what I look forward to coming here to China. Yeah. The new visa-free policy, which allows Australians to stay in China for 15 days without a visa, also benefits the Chinese Australians that need to manage life and work in both countries. I still can't believe this is happening. It's amazing that we can be back in China for at least two weeks without a visa, a big improvement from the previous 144-hour visa-free transit policy. It's very convenient. The same thing has happened over in southwest China's port of Chongqing, as well as megacity Shanghai. So, I was very pleased to see that there's a visa-free policy effective 1st of July, and I had a planned travel, and it suited me very well. Over the past several months, China has largely accelerated the pace of opening up its borders to foreign visitors. As of December 2023, 15 countries were included in the 15-day visa-free entry policy, while visitors from three other countries enjoy a 30-day visa-free entry period. Those policies are boosting inbound travel for the Chinese mainland. We have recorded 200,000 inbound arrivals in the first half of this year. That's three times the amount from the same period last year. Those came under the visa-free policies took up one-third of the total. 